We're told there are about 60 amusement rides set up here at the Minnesota State Fair this year. They'll turn you around, upside down, in and out, all in the name of fun. But are these rides safe? Let's look at the statistics around the country over the past five years. Between 1980 and 1984, 22 people died from accidents on amusement rides. An additional 30,980 people were injured, injuries serious enough to require emergency room treatment. One of those accidents happened July 28th of last year in Minot, North Dakota. A nine-year-old boy, Jason Gowen, shared a ride on a roller coaster with his brother. The restraint device did not secure young Jason properly. The ride went into a loop. Jason fell to his death. And that leads us to the question, who inspects these rides throughout the country? That all depends on where you are. Let's take a look. 27 states have some sort of state inspection program where amusement ride operators have to meet certain requirements. Minnesota is one state that does not have a law requiring a mechanical inspection of amusement rides. Why not? When we covered this topic back in 1979, attempts were made to pass a law in the Minnesota State Legislature. It failed. This time, we went to the local office of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, a federal agency. But even this office does not have legal authorization to inspect amusement rides for mechanical safety here in Minnesota. Essentially, the uh, commission, with its limited resources, can only respond when there is an accident. We can then investigate to see what happened. And if there is a problem with the ride, uh, we can try to do something about it, uh, at least notify the next uh, state you know, where that ride is going to be so that they can get in on it. What does it take to get a state to start its own mechanical inspection? Body count? Uh, unfortunately, that's sometimes true. You know, if there's a real tragic accident that often spurs uh, the legislature to, to finally take some action.